Hello Agents and welcome back to another Division video. We're in the middle of Season 2 and the global event Hollywood has just landed today. I thought I'd do a quick video of it, just give it a quick roundup, a quick review and see what it's actually like. So with Hollywood, it's a new one, we've never had this one before. Hostile factions have deployed firearm resistant fields, break them with explosive, EMP or spec weapon damage. So essentially they have given all of the NPCs in the game a buff to make them harder to kill and we've got to get rid of a shield, an overshield I guess it would be called before we can do our real damage. I have had a quick look at it before we started but first of all let's have a quick look at the challenges to see what we're going to be in for. Day 1, damage shielded hostiles with a thrown grenade, explosions or an EMP. Hit shielded hostiles with specialization weapon. Hit shielded hostiles with explosive skills. Melee attack shielded hostiles. Eliminate Rikers. And complete any main mission on hard difficulty or above. So very similar to previous global events. So my initial thought with this was what could I do. A skill build's going to be pretty good for this uh, challenges. I thought tip of the spear maybe for regenerating specialization ammo as well could be useful but what I've decided to do is go in with my skill build my explosive skill build I'll link this build in the description below so you guys can take a look at it essentially it's around the artillery turret and usually I run a drone to push enemies out of cover but as we've got a challenge that requires an EMP I'm going to run the jammer pulse and then afterwards I would maybe flick over to Seeker Mines uh, to wrap up the explosive damage challenges as well. A really quick overview of my build is I'm using the Harmony for some extra skill damage. It's also good for firing regular as well. If I'm able to I'll use the Mechanical Animal to push my skills to overcharge. Then I'm using China Light for explosive damage. A Wyvern chest piece because I want glass cannon. And as you can see, it's got skill damage and skill duration rolled on this. Hannah Yu for skill damage again. Ideally, I'm going to reroll this back to skill haste, but I was testing something else. The force multiplier is really good because I'm going to be shooting all the time. So we're going to get a further 30% skill damage from that. And then two group or because the two piece gives us explosive damage. And obviously you want skill tier. Skill damage and skill haste across these if you can. I'm running demo spec as well for extra explosive damage. And obviously being able to use that. For the grenades as well it's a super super useful let's take a look at the rewards so you've got a whole week to do this if i remember rightly you have to do most of the challenges on all four days just remember though you don't actually miss any of them. If you don't log in for another four days, you'll be able to do day one, day two, day three, and day four challenges all in one day. We start off with the blockbuster arm patch, and then the usual rewards of the crafting caches and the weapon caches, season caches, and a brand cache. Exotic cache at level nine. And some cool looking sunglasses for the backpack trophy. So we're going to do Wall Street. I'm going to do it on Heroic just because I want to try and get some good loot out of it at the same time. But I pick Wall Street because it's a Riker's mission. It's fairly here. easy. Chance Remember, of a Bullet King for an exotic part as well. But if you find his supply depot... Rate it. So first of all, I'm going to throw that that. Try and jam these guys. There we go. Plenty of room. All the shields have gone. So obvious as well because I'm doing explosive damage with my artillery turret. 
I'm getting spec ammo as well at the same time. I can double up and use that at the same time as well. It's got to be a shielded hostile as well for the spec ammo, so I'll leave this for now. We'll get this guy over at the back. Get a few more for a minute. Heavy so ammunition easy. detected. And they seem to be dropping grenades as well. Every time you kill one, they seem to be dropping regular grenades. Radio intercepted. I hear gunfire. Report. The loading area by Broad Street is under attack. It's the division. Sell the gate. Use the APC. Do not let them raid the stockpile. Out of ammo, nothing my throat's gonna be able to hit in there, but we can do the EMP in that case. Serious trauma detected. Yeah, let's keep the fun going. Lost their ammo. Protected hostile restored. Oh, so it seems like they also get their overshield back. This is actually gonna make some of the ch the challenges a little bit easier. Detected. Heavy ammunition. As you can see, there is a wealth of grenades around. And I guess for the melee attack, it's going to put it on story mode and go in and smack them and do it that way as well. But this build seems to cover up most of them. Rikers is going to be really, really easy. Completing the mission is going to be easy enough as well. Hitting shielded hostiles with explosive skills is going to come naturally and hit shielded hostiles with specialisation, that's going to be easy. Uh, damage shielded hostiles with thrown grenades or explosions and EMPs. Going to have to take a bit more notice of that, use my EMP more, use the grenades that are dropping everywhere more. Maybe using the mad bomber chest talent might make it a little bit easier. You could put on the Acosta's go bag as well so you could hold some extra grenades and probably not sacrifice too much damage in a skill build. Just before I head off I just wanted to mention a few other ways we could possibly do this. If you wanted to take your time a little bit more and you didn't want to rush it with a skill build you could perhaps use your rifle build, replace some pieces with tip of the spear, make sure you use the backpack for the extra specialization ammo. You don't really need to worry too much about specking into too much damage in the build being perfect but something like this would work and you would get obviously I would have to run demo as a specialization but you would get a lot of specialization ammo and you could just do go around your daily business clearing missions as normal but racking up the challenges. As you can see with tip of the spear aggressive recon automatically generates signature ammo every 60 seconds. And with the backpack equipped, the signature move talent, it doubles the amount of signature ammo that is generated by aggressive recon. So if you just wanted to go around doing your dailies or maybe doing the league as the second week of the league is now active, you could do this and still mop up these challenges pretty, pretty easy. Obviously the Ravenous is going to work for explosive damage and but I realize not a lot of people have got that yet but in the same fashion a gun that most people will have is the merciless and the merciless is always going to work as well and you can just spam the merciless because after you put seven stacks in it's going to do the explosion and that's going to take away the overshield so quite a few ways to, to do this one unfortunately it's not my favorite global event the ones with the heads popping and things like that where it actually helped us do some damage uh, they're much more enjoyable this one they just buffed the enemies and made the game harder so I can't see very many people being a fan of this one but let me know what you think down below in the comments uh, it's always good to hear what you guys think as well along with my own opinions come and check me out over on twitch twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle where you'll find me streaming most days. Right now we are practicing the Iron Horse Raid and eventually we are going to be helping people through that as well. So come over and check us out over there. Check out my links in the description below. 
hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down and check out my other videos and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching everybody goodbye